Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. Today I have a very quick lesson for you. And that is, I'm gonna show you how to create an emission map for your 3D models. Now an emission map is used when you only want part of your 3D model to glow or give off light. Now in my last video, I was showing you how to create a Diablo 2 styled monster by rasterizing this 3D model of a zombie into a pixelated 2D sprite. Now, like I've said, I want every monster in my campfire game to have a part of them that glows. For most of the monsters, it'll probably be their eyes that are glowing, but I have a few monsters in mind where there will be more than just their eyes glowing. For the zombie, I just need to have the eyes glowing, and much of this I'm probably actually going to do inside Photoshop, but while we have the 3D model, I might as well make the eyes glow now as well. To do this, it's actually very simple. All we have to to do is open up the texture that we're using inside of Photoshop. Once we have it open inside of Photoshop, we're going to want to select the part of this texture that we want to have glowing. And in this case, I want it to just be the iris of the eye. If I need to, I might make it the whole eye in the future, but I'll use the circular marquee tool and the lasso tool to select just the iris. Then on a new layer, I'll use the paint bucket to fill in the iris so that it's all white. After which I'll create a layer behind this layer and use the paint bucket to color in the rest of it black. Now it's important to note that emission maps are on a grayscale and anything that is black will be represented as a zero value while anything that is white will be represented as a one value and any gray colors between black and white will be a decimal value equal to the strength of the gray value. So now that I have my emission map created I'll go ahead and save it and then inside of Blender with a part of my zombie mesh selected I'll go to the materials property tab and for the emission value we'll change it to an image texture and we'll open up our newly created emission map. And now you can see that the zombie's eyes are glowing white. Now in the material properties, we can change the emission strength if we want the eyes to glow even more. But in Blender, I don't see any emission color setting for the standard material. If I was creating my own custom shader inside of Blender, you could have a color property and multiply it by the emission map, which would allow you to then pick whichever color you want. But since I'm in a little bit of a hurry, I'm gonna go back to the emission map and I'm just gonna assign it the color of red. Now you can see that my zombie eyes are glowing red and if I were to do a render right now you can see that my pixelated render now has red eyes. Now just to show you the process of applying an emission map to a 3D model inside of Unity I've imported the zombie model into a Unity project and you'll want to create a new material to hold the zombie texture. So you can right click in the project window go up to create and select material. Now I'm currently using the universal render pipeline but even if you're using the standard pipeline the process is very similar. Now you'll need to apply this material to your 3D model, after which you can apply your texture to the base map field, then to apply your emission map, first we need to enable emissions, after which we can drag the emission map into the emission map field, and now you can see that my zombie's eyes are glowing white, and we can change the color of the glow by setting the emission color. Now in Unity, an emission glow will cast light on any static objects after you bake the lighting. If you want to add a bloom effect, then you'll have to add post-processing. And the easiest way to do this is to add a volume component to your scene, create a new profile, and add bloom. I'll then enable the threshold and intensity, and then increase the intensity level. And as you can see, you can have a lot of fun with emission maps. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to use emission maps in Blender and Unity. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date with all my latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.